Your Instagram theme page could be on the verge of dying forever unless you follow exactly what I say in this video. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Snaid Malik and I've grown millions of followers on Instagram theme pages and made hundreds of thousands of dollars doing that. In today's video, I'm going to break down the latest Instagram update that could kill your Instagram theme page forever or 10x your growth if you use a simple trick that I mentioned later in this video. So stick around because this could be the difference between your Instagram theme page making shit ton of money or just dying completely. But hold up, this isn't one of those, you know, unshadow ban yourself or all of those crap no bullshit here this information is coming straight from the horse's mouth the ceo of instagram himself adam mozeri well let's check out what he exactly said we have some significant changes to how ranking works that you really should know about if you're a creator or an aggregator on instagram now we want to be the best platform for creators online which means we need to do more to drive reach to creators who create original content if we're going to recommend content that is show a photo or video to someone who doesn't follow the account that created it we're going to start now looking to see if we can find the original piece of content if there is one and if so we're going to actually show that original piece of content instead of the content coming from the aggregator or the resharer uh, the other major change is changing how we treat aggregators on instagram with regards to recommendations so aggregators are people who go and collect other people's content and then post it without making a spin on the content or making it their own in some way shape or form and what we're going to start doing is trying to avoid recommending content from aggregators across instagram so to summarize what adam said he basically basically said that if you run an Instagram theme page which is heavily reliant on, you know, reposting content, then you are basically f***. But no, seriously, Instagram is really cracking down on reposted content. Now, this update actually rolled out back in April. But why am I bringing it up right now? Well, two reasons. First of all, I was warning about this long before the CEO himself even made the announcement. The number one strategy currently that is to grow on Instagram is to create semi-original content. See, I've been talking about this for a while now. And secondly, it's only recently that they have started to apply this update and the theme pages have started to feel the impact. The algorithm is tightening its grip and I've seen a accounts die as a result. But don't panic just yet because there's a way around this. So what to do now? Well, simple. Pay a little bit of attention on this announcement. So if you are an aggregator out there, in addition to, of course, continuing to invest in your following, I highly recommend that you look for more ways to make content your own if you're resharing other people's content. Then you can clearly see that you need to make your content original. But wait, wait, wait. I know what you are thinking. I run an Instagram theme page. How do I make my content original? Don't worry, because there are a couple of clever ways that you can go about this. Method number one. Well, in this method, what you will do is that you will create a layout and then you'll repost the content with the layout. Here's exactly how to do that. So you can create the layout really easily using canva.com. First of all, click on the create a design button and then here, write down Instagram story, this one. So once you get something like this, you have to go on elements, search up frame, then use this frame, just adjust it a bit. Now this itself is not an image. It's just used to, you know, add your logo. So I will just adjust it a bit now assume that this is your instagram reel and you have to add the layout to make it look you know original you can also add some captions i will share how to do that in a bit you have to make sure that it looks good just take it somewhere here and then use the text i will just add a simple text now here you will have to add your username and your name for example if my theme page's name is like strength addicted i have to write down the username first adjust it a bit now this is a bold font and for username i think using the normal font works much better you suggest adjust it a bit like this you can also use control to zoom in so you can precisely make sure that it's properly adjusted now you will add the username strength addicted now this time i will make sure that it's bold because that will look much better select all of the text and make it bold now just adjust it a bit just make sure it looks good is symmetrical just make sure it's in the in the center so boom here is the layout now what i will do is that i will add the logo of that page here on this frame as i've told you this is not an image this is just a frame so for example if that's my logo i will upload files and then add my logo here and then after that i will just drag it and drop it here here you go here's the layout by the way if you're looking for this layout ready made then go ahead and join my discord server first link in the description in that server we have all of these layouts a lot of free resources ready for you let's just adjust it a bit so it looks good you can again use press control and then zoom in to you know adjust it more precisely okay so once that is done you can select it and bring it a bit down just so it looks good all right so now here's the layout so what i've seen recently is that layouts itself is sometimes not enough so what you will have to do is that you will have to add simple caption as well so for example let's say that i want to make this real original what i will do is that i will copy it and then download it on you know your mobile phone you can do it really easily using some sort of a reposting app let's just download it so once you have downloaded the 
viral post you will add it here and then click on it now you will have to adjust it a bit so let's see how this looks so i will just crop it a bit to make sure that these black bars are gone and now let's just adjust it a bit looks good so what i've noticed is that with fitness pages i really prefer like black layout so i will just change them to white i will change the background to black so yeah now this looks much better but here's a problem this logo looks kind of blend due to the black background i will just click on it and then click on here border style give it a little bit of border too is fine and then add white color here okay now it looks much better now this itself is good enough and you can stop here but you know if you want to go to the next level what i will really suggest you to do is that you also should add a little bit of captions here now to cat add captions just make sure there is some place to add the caption click on text okay let's just add some caption now again the caption depends on the content so let's i will just add it you have to use your brain and make sure that the caption makes sense and you can also you know really easily add some emojis here as well click on emoji let's just add this here emoji click here now let's just adjust it a bit now again the caption has to be you know not so bold it looks good okay so i just changed this logo because previous one was looking a little bit weird let's just make it a bit better just make sure that everything is symmetrical use the guidelines and yeah boom here you go here's your original content so the next way to create original content is to make compilations of similar posts you will take viral videos in your niche and then you will make compilations of that using CapCut or canva and then you will upload them all also, you can, you know, use layout on compilations as well. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be only used on the, you know, layout content. These two are the easiest ways by which you can make the content a little bit original. Now, here's the secret trick that I've been talking about. Remember how Adam said that all the traffic would be redirected to the original content creator, right? Think of traffic like energy. It can't be created or destroyed. It just gets redirected. Now, here's the loophole. If you own multiple reposted pages, then you can use them to repost your own original content, the content that you will make original by using this layout method and all of that traffic would be redirected towards your main page and boom now you have got an insane traffic boost but beware because sometimes instagram can't really find out the, that you are posting someone else's original content so in that case just give yourself credit and then it will be a lot easier for instagram to know that you are reposting your own original content and all of the traffic that was supposed to come on your reposted page will now come on your original page and now if you're looking for 14 most profitable niches for which you can start a theme page about then go ahead and watch this video completely because in that video i went in complete detail on how you can grow and monetize 14 different niches all of them should be profitable and you will make a lot of money